Good morning dear students Miss Kumuth here In science we have already started with the lesson environmental balance and we have finished up to environment now let us proceed further Now children can you see something here in this picture Yes you are right it is a worm Now here you can see that worm is eating the grass You know worms also eats plants so then who eats the worm a grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by a bird but then who eats the bird a bird is eaten by a large size bird fine so that means you can see over here that one is eating the other you must have also seen in nature such type of you know chains correct now let us proceed further now then who prepares the food for the plants plants prepare their own food you must be aware of this right so plants prepare their food by the use of water as well as carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight right then let us see now something related to the food you can see over here different components like sun grass worm grasshopper and the bird all these if you see are connected to each other by food you must have seen that plants prepare their own food by with the help of sunlight and you know some of the animals are eating plants so here in this case if you see in this picture you can see the grass is eaten by a worm so all of them and worm is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper by a bird like sparrow so all of them are connected to each other by means of food so each of these are called as the components and they are linked by a chain and such a chain which is linked by due to food is also called as a food chain so there are several food chains or there are several links in the food chains so this is one of the example of a food chain but do you think so the food chain will last if you know one of them is separated from each other like for example if you consider here the worm is eating the grass and worm is eaten by the grasshopper suppose worm itself you know do not last or it you know due to some reason it gets reduced from this chain then what will happen to the grasshopper will the grasshopper survive no my dear students grasshopper will also be affected therefore each of these link which are connected to each other by food is very important in the food chain if one of them is missing yes the other one is sure to die that means there has to be connections all these links have to be connected to each other fine let us proceed further so each one of them is connected before and after though each one of them is a complete object by themselves but they will be connected to each other before and after you can see here now let us consider some examples here you can see here one of the food chain you might have seen these type of you know animals uh, in you know discovery or maybe national geography that you know the tiger is chase, chasing the deer and you know a deer must have been eating at that time grass so here also one of the food chain you can see here that the grass is eaten by the deer and the deer is eaten by the tiger that means they are the components of a food chain and each one of them is connected now think if suppose the deer do not last if the deer do not last will the tigers be there no tigers are fully dependent on the deers and deer on the grass so if any one of them is missing then the other is sure to die let us see another example now in the food chain so here the worm is eaten by someone we don't know let's see who is that missing one you can see that the uh, missing one is eaten by the owl but if you carefully notice can you see in the mouth of the owl what is there 
Yes, you are right. It is a bird. It is a bird and that bird may be like a small bird like that of a sparrow. Right. So, the missing one is no one but a bird. You can see the picture of the bird here. So, each one of them is connected. You can see that bird here. Right. So, they are, each one of them is the link in the food chain. So, it's a complete food chain you can see here. Worm is eaten by a bird and bird is eaten by the owl. Now, let us see another example here of a food chain. You can see that the grass prepare or the plants prepare their own food with the help in presence of sunlight. And the plant is eaten by the rabbit and rabbit is eaten by the snake. Now, consider that now in these pictures, suppose some of the rabbits die or their number reduces. Then do you think so? The snakes will survive? Yes, even the number of snakes in this uh, case will also reduce in number. You can see over here in this picture. Now, that means each one of the link is very important in the food chain. If some of them misses, then others are also getting affected. So, that means each one of them is very important in the food chain. Now, Plants prepare their food with in presence of sunlight and plant is eaten by the insects or insect. An insect is eaten by a frog and frog is eaten by a snake. Snake is eaten by an eagle. Right. Now this is a complete chain. Fine. Now let us see. Can you see over here some intricate pattern here? You know. Now do you think so that the grasshopper is only eating the worm is it not eating something else or is grasshopper eaten only by a frog or a bird no my dear friends each living organism can be a part of number of food chains so here in this you can see that each one of them is a part of different chains here so such a intricate food chain or intricate network food chain is also called as a food web now let us see in the food web okay now take for example the grass grass you can see over here is eaten by so many grass deer fox grass deer is eaten by a lion grass worm is eaten by grasshopper frog and snake snake is eaten by a hawk grass worm is eaten by grasshopper mouse and then hawk grass worm grasshopper mouse snake hawk grass rabbit hawk grass rabbit lion grass rabbit fox grass plant worm grasshopper frog snake hawk plant worm grasshopper mouse hawk plant worm grasshopper mouse snake plant squirrel hawk plant rabbit lion plant rabbit hawk plant rabbit fox plant mouse snake plant mouse hawk so here you could see that you know one is eating the other and is also eaten by someone else so one eats the other and the other is eaten by someone else so now let us see what does a mouse eat as well as whom who eats the mouse in a food web right let us continue grass worm grasshopper mouse hawk grass worm grasshopper mouse snake Hawk. Yeah. 
grass grasshopper mouse hawk plant worm grasshopper mouse snake plant mouse snake plant mouse hawk so you could see that the mouse is eaten by so many and even the mouse eats so many correct now let us see another food web okay let us see now a worm here example of a worm now grass is eaten by a worm worm is eaten by grasshopper by a frog snake and then hawk grass is eaten by worm grasshopper mouse and hawk grass is eaten by worm grasshopper mouse snake hawk grass plant worm grasshopper frog snake hawk plant worm grasshopper mouse hawk plant worm grasshopper mouse snake hawk So you could see over here that you know one organism is eaten by many as well as many are eaten by one organism so that means each one of these are linked to each other none of the food chain is independent so all of them are interdependent on each other and all of them are connected to each other fine so uh so this is regarding the food chain and the food web i hope so you have understood regarding this right so in this you should remember that each one of the food chain is linked to each other and no if any one of them in the link is missing then the food chain or the food web will not last and so there won't be any balance in the environment so to maintain the balance each of these links is very important so i hope so you have understood regarding this topic that is the food chain and the food web so next time we are going to learn about the most important food in the food uh, chain that is plants so till then students thank you very much